2, let's break Serpent Isle. In part 1, we broke into Monitor, completed the Silver Seed add-on, and broke out of Moonshade using a bug in the Silver Seed and some loaves of bread. Go to the Sleeping Bull and find Ensorcio. Buy some spells from him. This may take some lengthy negotiation. Ask about Hawk, Batlin and his mentor. Make sure you buy the Mass Sleep spell, and Deter should be useful as well. He also has the Spiral Missile spell, which may be amusing. While we're here, go down into the basement of the Sleeping Bull and fetch the Explosion Scroll. Transcribe it, as this will come in handy later. Now, go back to monitor via the Serpent Gate in the basement. Ignore Marsden and do not apply to become a knight, but go to the knight's test anyway. You should find Schmed somewhere about. If not, wait until business hours. Now turn on your 16 tracks, Eddie. In the words of Greg Lake, a bit of vibin' is all it lacks, so cast Vibrate on Schmed and take the key from him. When using Vibrate in this manner, take care that the victim's feet are not obscured. Otherwise you'll lose the object you're trying to take. Now it is time to let Schmed know who the daddy is, so cast Mass Death. Walk over his corpse to the test of knighthood. Cast Heal, unlock the door and lead your followers to glory. This should be much easier, especially with the tremendous power at your disposal. You can now, for example, retrieve the key from the snake room using Fetch, instead of banging rocks together. Take the claw and make your way into the final room. Now just pocket the urn of ashes. Leave the test using the key that you stole from Schmed. You will probably need to backtrack and go out the front way. With the urn and the claw you will never again be alone, for you may call upon your lupine brethren to comfort you. In other words, you can now summon an unlimited number of wolves whenever you want. Now, let's step into the Twilight Zone. Head off to Gorlab Swamp and wait just outside. Make sure you have among your followers, not including the Avatar, approximately 20 stones of carrying capacity. Just before you enter the swamp, cast Serpent Bond. You will now turn into a snake and your followers will go away. Slither into the swamp and enter the dream world. The game will now short circuit and your followers will end up in the dream realm as well. But most importantly, we can smuggle some very useful contrabands in and out of the land of dreams. It is advisable that you do not die while in the dream realm, so save often. In any case, under no circumstances should you give possessions to the Avatar. If he dies, whatever he is carrying will vanish forever. Since you've got three or four brutal henchmen backing you up against all comers, dying shouldn't be a problem for the most part. Go to Lord British's castle and get the chest of cool stuff. Infinity bow, complete suit of magic armor. Find the juggernaut hammer and go to the arena southeast of the castle, where there are some gargoyles. Go into the lower building and get the second infinity bow. Find Stefano's dream of naked women. Nearby is a chest full of gold. Remember, give all the booty to your followers, do not carry it yourself. Finally, go to the circle of stones. To the northwest is a brass chest which is trapped but contains a lightning web. Again, give it to your followers. In the dreams of your enemies arena, Batlin is wielding an Ophidian sword. It is possible to extract it from him and take it with you, 
allowing you to skip a large chunk of the game. I will probably cover this in another session. Make sure the avatar is carrying nothing. Move all possessions into your followers. Now consign your body to the flames and rejoice, for the cool weapons and heaps of gold you dreamed about have become real. Now there are a couple of errands to run. Go to the western forest and look for the serpent crown in a hollow tree. Then go to Furnace via the cave near Monitor and retrieve the serpent stick. With these tasks completed, it's time to visit the frozen wastes. We'll use a slightly unorthodox method. Indeed, we have little choice now. Go to the Sleeping Bull. Cast Vibrate on Selena to get her key, and the Guani Cloak. Have the Avatar wear this. In the basement of the inn, you should find some cloth. Take ten pieces and go to the Serpent Gate, also in the basement. Go to the Silver Seed and pick up three barrels of gunpowder from the outpost. Now go back to the bull using the amulet. Go outside. South of the bull, you should find some Ophidian ruins. Northeast of that is a small tower of wood and stuff. Take one of the many pieces of wood you should find in a stack, and then go to the Ophidian ruins and walk south along the western wall. Keep pressing yourself against the wall until you find the soft spot which the avatar can climb up on. This isn't normally possible, but in this particular case, the drop is low enough that we can place the wood on the other side of the wall and climb down. Do so. Take the orange teleporter. Walk west and round to the blue teleporter, but do not stand on it. Instead, take your pieces of cloth and build a staircase onto the wall. Walk onto the wall and follow it until you see a room with some alchemy apparatus and a bed of furs on the floor. Look carefully at the bedding. In the northeast corner, a key is just poking out. Cast Fetch on it to make the key yours. Now, go back down your staircase and unlock the doors with your ill-gotten key. Go up the stairs and look for the great brass door in the southwest. Transfer one keg of powder which you took from the outpost to some inconsequential serf such as Dupre. Press him against the brass door as hard as possible and detonate the keg. Find Vasculio's digs and read the scroll using telekinesis. Render Vasculio helped us with Vibrate and then kill him. Don't forget to take the key from Vasculio's body. We'll need this later. Go to the prison cell in the west. Find the corpse and steal his teeth. Also, take the Philanderer's friend and the Flux Analyzer. When he's dead, build a staircase leading to the wall of Vasculio's prison, preferably the south wall between the two braziers. By the lamppost will also work. There are a lot of crates kicking around. These will do nicely. Bales of cotton will also work. Make sure it is possible to get onto the wall using the ladder. Head to the northern forest using the jawbone and find the trapper's lair.
get the Guani cloak and give it to someone. Leave the others and head into the cave. When you approach the Dying Trapper, cast Death Vortex on him and you will be treated to another one of those interesting conversations with the dead. Take his furs. In the second cave on the left are some dead trappers. Take their guani cloaks too. Find the guani place. Head off to the icy realm where Hazard the Trapper lives. We need a suitable entrance, so blow the doors away with the gunpowder. You must use two kegs simultaneously for this to work. Open Hazard, and then open the chest using his key. Vibrate won't work, unfortunately. He babbled something strange about the Guani being extinct. Not yet, they aren't. Take the amulet you find, some of the glass swords perhaps, and anything else that looks nice. There should be some fur hats too. Put these on. Go to the Guani settlement and find Yanani. Give her the amulet and she should present you with a tooth. Now, if you ran into any Guani on the way, you may have found that they take great delight in slaying the rare and endangered ice dragons. This slaughter will not continue. Cast mass death, and with a wave of your hand, the Guani learn what being an endangered species is like the hard way. Now we have the Guani tooth, we may as well use it. The nearest gate is by Vasculio, we just need to get there. Today we will use poor man's ethereal travel. Build a ladder onto the mountains, using 15 loaves of bread gold coins or whatever junk you can lay your hands on. Guani corpses will work too. Climb onto the mountains and follow them east until you spot some lava. Walk out into thin air and look for Vasculio's house. Find the wall and walk around it and down the stairs you made earlier. Now there's something you don't see every day. Find the Serpent Gate and beam off to Sunrise Isle for a quick reconnaissance mission. Once there, get the icons and put them on the opposing altars, e.g. the Torch of Ethicality on the Swamp of Tolerance. It is possible to substitute Frigadazi's Rose for the Rose of Enthusiasm, and the Abacus from the Temple of Order will work on the Dead Forest of Emotion. You'll then be given a magical book which allows you to get into the temple proper. The brass chest in the West Wing contains a third infinity bow. Take it and anything else which looks good. Get the Ice Diamond and Fire Token and open the first set of doors. Go through the doors into the next room. Press the following buttons. Both those at the top of the stairs on the west side. The button in the southernmost room on the top floor of the west side using telekinesis. The button under the stairs on the west side through the illusion. The button in the middle top floor room on the east side, telekinesis again. The button in the now open room on the ground floor of the west side. All the gates are now open. Take the key from the top floor of the west side. Go downstairs and take the teleporter. You are now on the east side top floor. Unlock the door and go downstairs. Take the fire key and go back outside. Open the ice cube store in the west side using the fire key and take two cubes. Take the ice key and get two fire cubes. 
Dump the four cubes on the pedestal. Go through the teleporter if you like, but you'll just get kicked out again. The remaining cubes make great staircases. To progress, we need the serpent armor, which we don't have, so you'll need to kill yourself in a fire field. For example, in the fire zone to the south. You will reappear back in the real world. The next time you use a serpent gate, the game will become somewhat distressed and ask you to tell Origin where you are. Ignore this and carry on. Now go to Moonshade. If you haven't already gone around bulk purchasing spells, find Tericio and buy the 6th level spell Create Automaton. You'll need to fabricate 750 guilders for this. When you've finished, find the trial room. Look into it and cast telekinesis on the secret door on the north wall. Go around and into the room. Cast fetch to get the key. Now, open the gate and go through the teleport with your followers. When you arrive, you are accosted by an automaton who tells you that you are in the Mountains of Freedom and seems to believe you are some kind of criminal. Vibrate the automaton for your cell key and hightail it back to Moonshade. Make sure you get the Black Sword. Find Frigadazi and talk to her. Agree to meet her at midnight. Note that she will make similar advances if the avatar is female. Go to her chamber and cast Serpent Bond. You are now a snake. Wake up the mage lady. Your party will snigger and run away. Now close your eyes because what's about to happen will give you nightmares. Frigidazi will begin frantically dancing naked for Beelzebub. Halfway through the perverse deed, your party sneaks in to watch. Philbercio arrives and is understandably horrified by the preternatural adultery now in progress. A trial is hastily convened, and the Avatar is summarily condemned to rot in the inescapable Mountains of Freedom. The jury gasps. Cries of despair are heard from your followers, but there is no reprieve. Filbercio seizes control of your body, propelling you inexorably towards the teleporter, which leads you to your doom. Helpless, you step onto the platform, and nothing happens. Go back to the trial room. Everyone seems to have gone a bit funny during the few seconds spent in the other room. Do not talk to Shamino until further notice, and take great care not to double-click on him by accident. If you talk to him, he will corner you with no chance of escape until he has pierced your ears and attached the serpent earrings to both lobes. What a nice guy. Note that if you didn't go all the way with Frigidazi, the serpent bond spell won't have expired, and you will have to round up your followers the usual way. Which will be a bit of a problem where Shamino is concerned. Find a bucket and go down into Gustachio's basement. Place it on the altar to get some Water of Tolerance. Put the bucket of water in your backpack. If you want Gustachio's spells, Delayed Blast in particular, 
This is your last chance to do his experiment and get them. This is entirely optional. Now that trial wasn't very good. In fact, I would go so far as to say we have been cheated. Fortunately, there is another possible venue. But that is a story for the next episode. Tune in next time when we unleash the forces of chaos and attempt to defraud the Great Serpent of Balance. See you then, and thanks for watching. But go to the Knight's Test anyway. You, foot, you should find Schmed somewhere about. If not, you may need to talk to Spectre first about becoming. Now it is time to now it is time to let know. Sh With the urn and the claw, you will never again be alone, for you may call upon your Lupin. Lupin. The game will now short circuit, and your followers end up in the dream room. If he dies, whatever he is carrying. If he dies, whatever is his. If he dies, whatever he is carrying will vanish forever. Go to the Guani settlement and find Yanani. Give him the amulet, and he should present you with a tooth. It is possible to substitute. It is, it is possible to substitute Frigidizzi's rose. It is possible to substitute Frigidazzi's rose for the rose of enthusiasm.